Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry I haven't filmed a video in a very long time, but um, I was gonna do my makeup, but I was like, you know what, let's film it. I'm sorry, I'm being a little bit quiet because my nephew is sleeping like there, and then my mom is sleeping downstairs, I think, so I need to be a little quiet. But I was gonna do my makeup anyway, and I really need to film a video ASAP, so I'm just gonna do my makeup and make a little me getting ready, just climbing up, because I haven't like, fully like properly done my makeup in a while so I'm excited and I hope you guys like it and let's get started. I just plucked my eyebrows that's why it's like super red here but I'm gonna start off with some primer and I'm gonna use the Nivea Poche Balm because I always use it and I'm gonna put a little bit of the palm on my hand and I'm just gonna put that on my face. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use the uh, Maybelline Baby Skin. So then I'm gonna do my foundation. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. This is way too dark for me, but I'm gonna put a little bit on of this and then I'll kind of mix it with a little bit of a lighter foundation. So I'm gonna take like the path thing and then I'm gonna open it. Ooh, come on. And then I'm just gonna kind of just apply it on my face as I don't know, like a base. And I usually like right now it's like pretty empty, so I kind of grab the sponge inside. I put it on my face. And then wait. <laughs> I'm gonna take these two foundations, which this one is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation in Light Beige, and this one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte foundation in vanilla so I'm gonna I think I'm just put it on my hand and then I'm gonna mix it together and apply it I've been working six days in a row and that makes you like super super tired so I'm very happy that I'm working again like I can buy just new like YouTube stuff so yeah, that'll be really awesome. It's not a huge layer of foundation. It's just kind of a light layer. I don't want it to be too much, but I do want to kind of go a little bit more out than I usually do if I would have gone to work. Um, oops, my be wonderful. Foundation, I did just like a light layer. I didn't do too much um, because I mean, like I want to go full out, but I don't have three hours if you know what I mean so I don't want to go too much I want to go natural and then for my pimples I'm gonna use the NYC um, smooth skin um, corrector or something and the color I don't know which color this is um, I think it looks like this and then I'm just gonna blend that out with the Real Techniques um, expert face brush so once I've covered my pimples, I'm gonna do my under eyes, nose, chin, forehead, stuff like that. Um, first, the Fit Me Maybelline concealer in the color 10. I think it's like light, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm just going to. This is like pretty much out, but yeah. And then as a second concealer, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And the color, I don't know because I literally don't know which color this is because it doesn't have a name on it. But I'm gonna put this over top of the Fit Me. Use the viewfinder of my iPhone. <laughs> Although it's not a viewfinder, it's just a screen. But whatever. And I'm just gonna blend that with my beauty blender. I'm gonna do my eyebrows so for my eyebrows so for my eyebrows I'm gonna be really ratchet and use a eyeshadow powder because I don't have any eyebrow products anymore so I have been doing this for a while I basically use jet setter from the tartlet and bloom palette which is this palette and I use this color because it's pretty much perfect it's the perfect shade for my eyebrows and also I lost a little 
small brush that I used to do my eyebrows with, with that powder, but I lost it. I don't know where it is. But instead, I'm just gonna use this angled like essence brush. So I'm gonna just fill in my eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna brush them out with the spoolie from the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I'm just gonna blend them out like mostly the front part and then just kind of brush it out like the rest of it. And then the other side, same thing. It's all you ever talk about, it's all you ever talk about. Then to prime up my eyelids, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I haven't used in a while. I feel like a lot of people don't use primer potions anymore. They just kind of use a concealer and it works fine. But I'm gonna use it today because I haven't used it in a while. And then I'm gonna set my eyelids with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NW20. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and put it under my eyebrow and just blend it out just for a little brightness under my eyebrows. Once I've done that, uh, I'm going to set my foundation but just like my chin, nose, forehead and then under my eyes. So for that, baby powder because I don't have translucent powder anymore. And then I'm going to set my chin, my nose, bridge right here, and then under my eyes. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Sassy first from the New Tude palette from the Bomb. It's like a really white, like shimmery color. I'm going to take Sassy and put it under my eyebrows for a little brightness, you know. I'm also going to use Sassy in my inner corner. Just a little bit. Um, then I'm gonna do like a little natural eye. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Um, but I do wanna do something that I usually don't do. Just something different, but like not too crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna use Stubborn also from the same palette. Take that on. I'm gonna take it on this really tiny Eco Tools brush. It's like a really big and a brush I'm gonna take stubborn and I'm gonna put that all over my lid <coughs> excuse me I just sneezed by the way <laughs> so I'm gonna put that all over my lid and then I'm gonna take a little bit from the from the tartlet palette in bloom and I'm gonna use Sweetheart to just kinda make it a little bit more pink. You know what I mean? So. So once I've done that, I'm going to, I'm gonna take Smarty Pants from the Tartlet and Blue palette. I use this palette way too much, honestly. I need to get me a new palette. I'm gonna take Smarty Pants and put that in the crease. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Flower Child, which is this like skin tone kind of color, just a cream color. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And 
And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Charmer, which is this white color, and I'm gonna put that um, under my brow bone. Okay, so next I want a little bit more brightness on my eye. So I'm gonna use Stand Offish from the new Tude palette because it's like a shimmery light pink color. So I'm gonna take that one and put it in the center of my eye. Then I'm gonna take Sassy again and put that in the inner corner again. Okay, so then I'm gonna use this angled Eco Tools brush and I'm gonna take Smarty Pants from the crease and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line to just connect it with the top. So then I'm gonna take this fluffy um, blush brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to wipe away all the baby powder off of my face. So then I'm going to curl my eyelashes And then I'm going to apply mascara. So I'm going to apply Maybelline Lash Sensational first, and then I'll apply the CoverGirl um, Clump Crusher. Then I'm going to set my face with the Studio Fix Max Powder and NW20, and then my Fluffy. Powder brush from Real Techniques. Then I'm going to bronze up my face. Then for bronzing, I'm going to be using my blush brush from Real Techniques because I love using this for bronzer. And I'm going to be using the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. I am in love with this. I'm also going to put a little bit under my face because I do have a double chin. And I freaking hate it, so... Then for a blush, I'm gonna use this Catrice blush in the color Apropos Apricot. And then for a highlight, I'm gonna use a pretty natural but pretty highlight. It's just this Catrice Strobing Duo Highlighter in the color Strobing Supreme. It just looks like this. It's a very cheap um, highlighter, but I really like it. It's just like a natural kind of glow For my lips, I'm gonna just use a baby lips. This is um, I think it's like a fall collection. It's a like vanilla cupcake so I'm just going to... My lips have been super dry lately and I just can't wear anything like heavy duty on my lips so these baby lips are perfect because they're moisturizing but they do keep just a little tint to your lips. But yeah, this is the look. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you have not, subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.